think about all the creative strengths that you know. So think about how can we demonstrate unusual visualization. A huge passion of mine is really working with kiddos to equip and empower them to change the world. Inside Ms. Stephanie Higgs' gifted class at Crockett Elementary, students have a chance to let their imaginations run wild. Do you have an idea for that one? What do you think? This idea that learning should never be bound by the four walls of our classroom or the front and back of a textbook. And so that was a really great way to bring this to life for them. Ms. Higgs truly wants her students to not only dream big, but to live it. You Tell me what you're thinking. I love that. I love that. Awesome job, buddy. Last fall, the Smithsonian reached out with an opportunity for us to invite each of our students to participate in a visual art contest. And so they were thinking about different ways to really honor all of these people, both historical figures as well as contemporaries who are fighting for freedom. Two of her students took on the challenge. So when Ms. Hicks told me, I was a little bit nervous because I kind of thought that there's um, no way I can make it in. This is fifth grader Ishana Patel and third grader Griffin Davis. I was definitely surprised because I don't win much contests. They believe in themselves and it paid off. They are among the few students across the country selected to have their artwork on display at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. I mostly use like red, neon, green, pink. Theme was the fight for freedom and what freedom means to them. You can escape from this little pocket that you're stuck in. With help from mom, Griffin drew what freedom means to him. He started like mixing around everything, like the letters, some of them like in the dark, we had to use white. He wanted to honor state representative Justin Jones. Because he fights for kids to be safe at school since the covenant shooting in 2023. I think it probably took me like a few evenings to write it and then revise and edit. Ishana can tell you about freedom through her words. So it's called Freedom's Call. The birds are all so completely free. They simply heed Freedom's call and fly in the endless, endless breeze. She so submitted a poem. Wings? Freedom does not beckon and you have no voice to sing. Then it's about freedom can limit and how the birds are really, really free because they don't um, really, like, they can just fly. What if the thunder rolls in and shouts, it's time for you to make some noise if freedom does not mouth. Miss Higgs and the entire school staff couldn't be prouder of these two students. We had to find our way all around the museum to find that one section. Mine was actually on the cover and it was the first page. We're just so proud of them. We're excited to celebrate alongside them, and I can't wait to visit this summer. In Brentwood with photojournalist Angie Donis. Have faith that you will find freedom, and when you do, sing like a bird, fly like a bird, and dream like a bird. I'm Kelsey Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. News Channel 5.